so guys today we will be discussing about um, the negligence you must have heard about the yesterday's news and this news uh, somewhere created a huge harassment or overall the mental pressure in medical fraternity is tarah se kisi doctor ka suicide karna kahan tak justifiable hai aisi country mein jisme already there is a huge lack of doctors huge lack of medical professionals and us country mein doctors is tarah se suicide kar rahe hain because of mental and any kind of harassment uh, so sabse pehle being a medical professionals we need to understand what is medical negligence so just a lack of reasonable care and attention remember only reasonable care lack of reasonable care and attention is known as medical negligence or willfully causing anything that causes suffering any kind of sufferance any kind of injury or even the death of the person is can be considered as negligence so negligence is basically as simple as that as you can understand that is reasonable care and attention that is the main key line and this can be in the form of act of omission or can be in the form of act of omission yadi aap koi aisa kaam karte hain that is not accepted as as per the standards so this is the act of omission ya fir aisa kaam nahi karte hain jo karna chahiye so this is act of omission so it can be in both the forms act of omission ho sakta hai act of commission ho sakta hai dono tarah se ho sakta hai ab isme kya hai ki doctors are not insurers remember this is for the general public or for the lay person that doctors are not insurers they are not the guarantors of your life so this is the key point this is very much important and this uh, this is high time and this need to be uh, understand by each and every person out there that doctors are not the insurers or they are not the guarantors of your life they are not uh, god as per uh, our society our community that doctor to bhagwan hota hai aisa aisa bilkul nahi hai we are also human beings and jo bhi rule regulation jo jis tarah ki jo investigation ka jo part hota hai wo sara मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल के लिए भी इंप्लीमेंट होता है दैट शुड बी विद प्रॉपर चैनल विदाउट एनी एनी काइंड ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस एंड ऑल सो दिस इज द हाई टाइम टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजी एंड ओवरऑल लिटरेचर विद वेरियस काइंड ऑफ जजमेंट्स एंड ऑल सो नेग्लिजेंस इज बेसिकली लैक ऑफ रीजनेबल केयर एंड अटेंशन इज नेग्लिजेंस और विलफुली कोजिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ द Uh, sufferance injury or death to any person is negligence now the important point is char key point hai isme jo negligence mein zaruri hai pehli cheez duty there should be duty yadi aapki doctor patient relationship hi nahi hai duty nahi bani to kahan se negligence aa jayega so first is your duty there has to be a duty of care between the doctor and the patient doctor must have a duty of care for a certain patient then second is dereliction there should be clear dereliction of that duty then the direct causation the cause the damage should be directly related to dereliction or the duty of the doctor for that patient and fourth is damage there has to be certain damage certain kind of sufferance certain kind of injury or death of the patient so these four things should be there one is duty second is dereliction should be there then direct causation and damage the four things should be there before proceeding any case as a case of negligence jab duty nahi hai jab dereliction nahi hai jab damage nahi hai charon mein se ek bhi nahi hai so you cannot uh, register a case or cannot classify or cannot uh, uh, investigate or cannot file a case against any doctor because without duty without the dereliction of that duty you cannot held responsible any medical professionals for any kind of negligence now negligence दो तरह से हो सकता है या तो सिविल नेग्लिजेंस हो सकता है इसमें कंज्यूमर फॉर्म में रिपोर्ट करेगा जो भी कंप्लेनेंट है एंड सेकंड इज द क्रिमिनल नेग्लिजेंस जिसमें कि पुलिस को कंप्लेन होगी अब पुलिस कंप्लेन भी दैट इज ऑन रैश एंड नेग्लिजेंट एक्ट एज पर द 304 जीरो फोर ए आईपीसी दैट से इज दैट दस पर दिस आईपीसी एनी काइंड ऑफ रैश और नेग्लिजेंट एक्ट इट विल बी डेट विद थ्री सेक्शन ऑफ इंडियन पिनल कोड 
and the, the, there is a certain procedure of registering the case registering the fir remember the police professional who is investigating a case after the filing a complaint by the patient attendants koi doctor kisi patient ko treat kar raha hai treat karte hue i have already said that we are not insurers we are not the guarantors of your life a doctor who is treating you he is not the insurers he is not uh, a guarantor of your uh, uh, your life so it should be very clear now नेग्लिजेंस हो गया किसी को इंजरी हो गई किसी की डेथ हो गई सो केस हैज टू बी फाइल्ड द कंप्लेन शुड बी फाइल्ड बाय द अटेंडेंट्स और एनी अदर नेक्स्ट टू किन टू द पुलिस एंड पुलिसमैन व्हाट इज द क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ पुलिसमैन हु कैन इन्वेस्टिगेट द पुलिसमैन इज नॉट हैविंग एनी काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज और एनी काइंड ऑफ द कैपेबिलिटी टू डिसाइड व्हिच केस इज नेग्लिजेंस एंड व्हिच केस इज नॉट व्हाट इज द हाउ हाउ दे कैन रजिस्टर विदाउट नोविंग द एक्चुअल एक्चुअल डेथ ऑफ द सिचुएशन they cannot register the case so the, in ideal situations there has to be a proper committee of medical professionals related to that that particular field that committee is going to decide that the doctor is basically uh, what were the uh, circumstances under the doctor was working and whether there is actually responsible uh, the the reasonable care and attention was lacking so this is very much important there are different judgments in which they have clearly mentioned that lack of judgment the lack of deciding factor or the misdiagnosis may not be considered as the negligence a reasonable doctor hai this who has just passed mbbs you cannot uh, compare that newly joined medico with a expert or a specialist of uh, around who has done a 40 years of uh, practice you cannot compare so there has to be some ordinary care and skill should be required only ordinary care and skills are required so guys this was the very important case of medical negligence between jacob matthew and state of punjab what happened on 15th of february 1995 there is a patient admitted in a hospital and the patient was having some breathing problems and on february 22 1995 around 11 pm the patient complained of difficulty in breathing so sister called the doctor and there was a delay of 20 to 25 minutes doctor came there and observed that patient is having difficulty in breathing they applied the oxygen mask and later they identified that the oxygen cylinder is not having oxygen then somehow the elder son of that patient arranged a oxygen cylinder and in that time around 5 to 7 minutes of delay the next doctor came and declared the patient dead so this was the case and earlier the case was filed in the high court and later on in the supreme court and supreme court made the guidelines so the supreme court gave the guidelines regarding the prosecution of a medical professional so what happens that a investigating officer and the private complainant any private complainant or any investigating officer cannot always be supposed to have knowledge of medical science so as to determine whether the act of accused medical professional amount to rash or negligent act within the domain of criminal law under section 304a of indian penal code so this is very much important to draw certain guidelines now the criminal process once initiated subject to medical professional to serious embarrassment and sometimes harassments also now he has to seek bail to escape arrest which may or may not be granted to him and at the end he may be exonerated by acquittal or discharge but the loss which he has suffered in his reputation cannot be compensated by any standards we may not be understood as holding that doctor can never be prosecuted for an offense of which the rashness and negligence is an essential ingredient so it is very much important and the all that we are doing is to emphasize the need of care and caution in the interest of society and for the service which the medical profession renders to human beings is probably the noblest of all and hence there is 
a need for protecting doctors from such frivolous and unjust prosecution. Many complainants prefer recourse to criminal process as a tool for pressurizing the medical professionals for ex extracting uncalled for or unjust compensation. Such malicious proceedings have to be guarded against. So this is important. And what is the procedure that the investigating officer should before proceeding against the doctor accused of rash or negligent act or any kind of omission obtain an independent and competent medical opinion preferably from a doctor in government service qualified in that branch of medical practice who can normally be expected to give an impartial and unbiased opinion in regard to the fact collected in the investigation now a doctor accused of rashness or negligence may not be arrested in a routine manner simply because a charge has been leveled against him unless his arrest is necessary for furthering the investigation or for collecting evidence or unless the investigating officer feels satisfied that the doctor proceeded against would not make himself available to face the prosecution unless arrested the arrest may be withheld so these are the important procedures and important guidelines um, uh, made in that Jacob Matthew versus State of Punjab case. So these are the guidelines made by Supreme Court of India. And the Honorable Court also directed, directed and that uh, the statutory rule for executive instruction incorpor uh, incorporating certain guidelines should be framed and issued by the government of India or any other state government in consultation with the Medical Council of India. So these guidelines are very much needed and very much required for dealing with any kind of case of medical negligence. So this is in brief about medical negligence. Keep on watching, stay tuned and thank you so much.